Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of January 29th to February 4th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Cancer, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy, spirit angels and guides. Please show me the energy of Cancer in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> Here we go. What's the energy of Cancer in regards to love for this week? All right, we have Four of Wands, Seven of Wands, the Tower, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, the Chariot and mm, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups to the Three of Wands, to the Six of Swords, to the Six of Cups. Interesting. Five of Swords. Three of Swords, Two of Swords. Mm. Queen of Wands. All right. <clears throat> Someone has a very sad energy attached to them. It's not you, by the way. Your energy is very fiery this week. Very fiery. <clears throat> You're the queen of wands this week. Male or female, doesn't matter the, the gender. You're fiery and you're airy. Air element with fire element. <clears throat> and this person is um, watery. It, they seem a little bit depressed, sad, depressed, Re, um, nostalgic is what I'm getting. Someone is feeling nostalgic over you. Someone is reminiscing over you. Someone's missing you. But you can't relate. You can't relate. Let's see what's going on with you. I'm not sure. I'm going to clarify your energy. Hmm. Yeah, so it kind of looks like a relationship um, fell apart here with the four of wands to the tower. A relationship fell apart. I don't know why. It just kind of looks like there was a lot of head games and mind games with the five of swords. Again, three of swords is a breakup. And I do feel like this is you um, blocking this person not wanting to speak to them or see them. I do feel like you're upset with whatever they did or what, whatever they said that caused the, uh, uh, that provoked you to end things with them or, or cut them out of your life or cut off communication with them. I do feel like you're upset. You might feel disrespected or you might feel betrayed also. This feels like your energy, the seven of wands. I feel like this is a relationship that you pushed out of your life. Again, or that you blocked. Yeah, again, 10 of swords. There's the ending, separation. Now this person is indecisive in regards to whether they should take action towards you or not. Because even though you're done with them, it kind of looks like this person is not done with you. They're very sad. They're very sad, they're very me melancholic, nostalgic, like I said, they're missing you, they feel empty without you. I also feel like they're guilty, they feel guilty about something. This person definitely feels like someone who's very, very immature, also someone who's very inconsistent, very um, non-committal. Also someone who keeps their options open with the Seven of Cups. Very manipulative with the King of Swords. 
They might be good at, um, they might be a good salesman, a used car salesman. Hmm. I'm going to clarify this energy, so let me, let's start clarifying real quick here. <clears throat> hmm. Tell me about the Queen of Cups, Spirit. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, I also feel like this is your energy also. Hmm, interesting. It, it almost looks like you changed. You turned your sadness into more of an anger energy. It's like, first you were sad, now you're just angry and upset and you just want this person to leave you alone. You know, I feel like your feelings kind of transformed here. <clears throat> or evolved not in a good way <clears throat> you tell me about the queen of cups five of cups and the nine of swords yeah this is this is your person i told you this person feels really sad with the five of cups and with the nine of swords they can't stop thinking about you they can't stop stressing out over this separation this distance between the two of you hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me about the two of pentacles. <clears throat> so we have the emperor. Okay. With the ace of wands. Yeah, they want to get back control. Emperor is all about control. They want to get back control over you and over this relationship with you. With the Ace of Wands, like I said, they still want you. They still desire this relationship with you. Um, but they are kind of a little bit nervous here with the Two of Pentacles to take action towards you. It just kind of looks like they want to stop you from permanently walking away from them and leaving them. Let me look at you real quick. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> you feel like they deserve it, is what I'm getting? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, Two of Swords and the Five of Swords. You feel like this person deserves what they're going through? You feel like they made their bed and now they have to lie in it? <clears throat> You feel like this person is getting hit with the karma they deserve. <clears throat> Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Page of Swords. Ooh. The three of, <laughs> three, of <pen> <laughs> the three of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. All right, Cancer, why do you have the Page of Swords here? Kind of looks like you're keeping an eye on this person with the Page of Swords. I'm not sure why. Let's take a look at that. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Ace of Cups with the Empress. Some of you are looking forward, some of you, not all of you, some of you are looking forward to rejecting this person. You know that this person eventually at some point is going to try to reconnect with you, reconcile with you. You know they're coming. You know they're coming towards you. You know they're going to make some sort of attempt to get back together with you. And I feel like you're looking forward to rejecting them when they do take action in your direction. Because you feel like this person um, had a really good opportunity with you and they blew it. They could have had it all with you. You're the empress here. So they could have had it all with you. And I feel like you were willing to give them everything. Yeah, you were willing to fully invest in this relationship with them and, you know, be the best person for them. And you feel like this person missed out on a really good opportunity with you. There's a lot of self-confidence here in your energy, um, Cancer. That's good. 
you definitely know your worth. That's for sure. You definitely know your worth. If you feel like this person's making a big mistake or you feel like they made a big mistake by, by ruining their chances with you because you feel like you were a really good person to them and you were willing to really, you know, give them your heart and give them all of your effort and energy and they didn't appreciate it. So you feel like this person is going to regret it and you're looking forward to them regretting it. Okay, that's okay. So your ego is a little bit hurt. It's understandable. <clears throat> yeah, I just feel like your ego is a little bit hurt. Everyone has ego. Everyone has it. You have ego and I feel like your ego is hurt. Well, you know, don't don't see it as a loss. Obviously, this person is um this person is someone who is uh too immature for you. And you know, it's a it's a blessing that it didn't work out for you. This relationship didn't work out because they were going to be a they would have ended up being a big burden in your life, you know? If that makes sense. All right, let's move to your person's side of the reading. Let's see what's going on with them. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of the person. Cancer is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. What is this person's energy towards cancer for this week? Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> All right, in their energy towards you, we have judgment. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. We also, I told you, we also have the Queen of Cups. This is them. I knew they were the Queen of Male or female, doesn't matter the gender. They could also be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's their energy towards Cancer? Ten of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, Star, Queen of Pentacles, Empress. And well, look who's here. The devil. Hmm. What is this about? Star? Star, Queen of Pentacles, and the Empress. Hmm. This feels like your energy. All right. The Devil and the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Hmm. So there's a lot of codependency here. Ooh, look at you. Jeez, look at that. Queen of Swords to the Five of Swords. Hmm. You are, how do I say, like you're... um. This is like judgment day. It almost feels like um, judgment day has arrived for this person. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you're not, uh, it's almost like you're done. You're not tolerating anymore, you know? It's almost like you're, you're making your final verdict or your final decision. You waited for as long as you could. And it just kind of looks like time is up for this person. Time's up. Hmm, okay. Well, you know, I don't feel like this, uh, this person, you're not dealing with someone who has made any um, changes. This person is the same person that you know them to be. Devil and the Knight of Wands, still someone very inconsistent, still someone who plays games, still someone who's non-committal. But they're very um, attached to you and they're very, very attached to you. 
very attached to you. Heavy energy of codependency. It's weird because this person feels devastated here by this separation, by, by this ending. They feel like they need you. They feel like they can't go on without you. You know, they feel like you're their everything. But they won't change. They won't change. They're still the same person. So I'm not sure what that's about. Let's look at the devil. Let's see what, what's the problem with this person. Tell me about the devil connected to this person's spirit. Their energy towards you this week is that they want a second chance with you. We do have the judgment card and they do plan on pursuing you and chasing you. And it does, and it does look like they're obsessed with you. So they're going to be insisting on you taking them back. Because they can't, they can't picture their life without you. You're their everything. You mean everything to them. Um, and they need you. And, you know, they're lost without you. They're nothing without you. It's very dramatic. Very, very dramatic. Tell me about the devil. The five of wands. Oh. Yeah, this person has like a mess in their life and just in their energy. Their their energy's a mess. Like it's scattered, very scattered energy. This person has more issues than you can count with your two hands. Hmm. But there, these issues are very like fixed. Like, um, they haven't done any work on, on healing themselves or on you know, just working on themselves. Tell me more about the devil. The king of swords. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. King of Swords on top of on top of it all. Um, you know, the problem with the King of Swords here is that this person, they feel like they're right, you know, they feel like they're right about everything. You can't convince them that they have issues, you know, you can't convince them that they have problems, that that they're making a mistake, you know that they're being reckless, that they're being irrational. You can't convince them of that because they believe that, this person believes that they know everything and that they're right about everything, you know? And we have the two of cups here. Yeah, um, this person's very possessive over you. They feel like you're, you're their property and you belong to them. Okay. All right, Ken, so I'm going to stop the reading here and I'm going to continue in the extended in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you, especially for this week? Then I'll take a look at what actions will they end up taking towards you moving forward and what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.